In this quick video, we'll show you how you can create cross-site collection lookup columns using the Quizcom external data feature. So here in my example, I have a topics list and it's located in a site collection called N under the test2 subsite. And I want to create a lookup column connecting me to this list, but in another uh, site collection. So I want to create my lookup column in my test list, which is located in N2 site collection under a subsite called X data. So to create such a cross site collection lookup, first thing I need to do is to create an external data source and you do it in the site level. So I'm going here to the uh, gear icon here and under the site settings, I'm selecting Quizcom apps settings. This is where you can see all Quizcom modern apps. Uh, I'm selecting the external data feature and this is where you create your external data sources that connect you to um, any web services. And nice thing is we, we have all these ready to use examples. Uh, for example, how to connect to Azure SQL. And I'm selecting this one called SharePoint list items. And this example connects me to any list, no matter if it's in the same site collection or on another site collection, it's a web rest API data source type. I'm going to change its name to topics because this is the name of the list that I want to connect to. So it will remind me that. And this data source accepts three parameters. I need the, the URL of the site where, where my remote list is located. And of course the list name and item limit is optional if you want to limit the number of returned items. So let's go to my remote list and I'm just going to copy the site URL and let's put it here. And the name of my list is topics. And I'm going to leave the uh, last parameter as is, it doesn't matter. And let's check that my, um, that it works. So, just for you to see, that I don't need to uh, mess with this, but this is the, the URL of the web service. If you want to change it, maybe uh, retrieve other columns. So this is the place where you can change it. And what I'm going to do now is uh, retrieve the data. So I'm clicking load uh, preview and here I can see the preview. So I see that my uh, data source works properly. I can save it now. And now I can go to my list and add my external data lookup. To add your lookup just in the list level, go to Quizcom apps. And you can see all the apps that are available for this list. And I'm going to select the external data feature. And let's create a new lookup column. Again, I'm going to call it topics. And last thing to do is just select my data source. That's it. I selected my data source and I want to display uh, the title. And that's it. I can provide other parameters here if I want, but I'm going to leave it as is. That's it. Save. And let's check how it works. So let's create a new item. And this is my external data lookup. 